The last thing we're going to talk about with fractions is a pattern, and it's the last lesson that we did with fractions. So there's a couple steps to go with this. The first thing you need to do is decide if the pattern is increasing or decreasing. The easiest way to look at this problem and know if it's increasing or decreasing in this case is to look at the whole number. I notice that I start with a whole number of 1, and then it goes up to a whole number of 2. So I know that this pattern is increasing, so my rule is automatically to add. So I know I'm going to be adding to find the missing term. So in order to find out how much I'm adding by each time, I need to find the difference. And I know this is where some of you get confused. You're always going to have to subtract to find the difference. D to find the difference is like a key word, or it should be when you hear difference, you should think subtraction. So I typically do the first two terms. So I'm going to take the first two terms and I'm going to subtract them to find out what I'm going to be adding by. So 1 and 3 fourths is bigger, so I'm going to put that on top, and I'm going to subtract 1 and 3 eighths from 1 and 3 fourths. So I find a common denominator, like normal, multiply the 4 by 2, so I multiply the 2, the 3 by 2 to get 6, and then the 8 stays the same. So I subtract 6 minus 3, which gives me 3 eighths. Now, I can add that to my rule because I know that I'm going to be adding 3 eighths each time. So my rule is add 3 eighths. Now that I know the rule, I have to apply that rule to find the next term. So you're going to take the term that is right before the blank. So the one that is marked in green. Okay, so 2 and 1 eighths. And I set that up as an addition problem. 2 and 1 eighth plus 3 eighths. Now, luckily, I have a common denominator already, so this one's going to be pretty simple. So I add 1 plus 3, and that gives me 4 eighths, and then I pull down the whole number. So my answer is 2 and 4 eighths. Now, I know that this fraction can be reduced because I can always divide even numbers by 2. So when I divide 4 by 2 and 8 by 2, that gives me 2 and 1 half, and that is my final answer.